What's up everybody, I'm Marco Messina and welcome back to Italian Football TV. We're trying out a little bit of a different format right now. I'm gonna bring you all the news real quick, just informing you from the best sources what's going on in the Serie A. And then later in the week, Michael and I will be sitting on the couches giving our opinions on most of the stories. But let's just jump into this one right now with some Inter news who are trying to sign Rafinha from Barcelona. This one is very close to happening. Inter and Barcelona have already agreed a loan price for Rafinha, but they are not agreeing on the option to buy after the loan is done. Inter won 20 million. Another meeting will happen on Monday to try to find an agreement. Barcelona want that option to buy at a higher price. Another player who Inter are interested in is Ramirez, who actually plays for the same club of the company who owns Inter, Jiangsu in China. They're trying to sign Ramirez. Ramirez really wants to go to Inter, so they are flying to China to try to negotiate this deal and get this one done. Another player who might actually be official by the time this video is live, Lisandro Lopez, very close to joining Inter. He's in Milano right now, and on Monday, he's expected to have his medical. It'll be a 500K loan with an option to buy at 9 million euros. Let's move on to Juve News as Emmer Chan. I think I'm saying that right. Let me know if I'm saying it right because I can't learn this. Emre Chan. And it seems like I'm gonna have to because he's coming to the Serie A. His agents have a Juventus contract in their hand for him to join in June, not January. He's expected to sign it very soon and then 100% he'll be joining Juve in June. But one player that Juve actually met with or met with the club that owns him right now is the 19 year old North Korean Han Kwang Song. We've spoken about him here on IFTV before. He plays for Perugia in Serie B. He's got seven goals in 17 games Juve met with Kairi, who's a team who owns him, to see if he's Juventus material. They haven't decided yet, but those talks are heating up. Another player Juve's interested in, and this guy's been on IFTV before. You're with our friend, Dennis. Yeah, give us a handshake. Let's go, let's go. I actually challenged him in a crossbar challenge, and I won. I love you, mom. That one's for you. But then again, I also beat Michael and I also beat Admo. I had to make it only one deal, you know? If it's two, it's too much. Maybe Juve should come after me instead of Prayet. No good. The guy is Dennis Prayet. Juve, at the moment, are just interested in him. They have no agreement with Sampdoria, but he could be another option for who Juve are looking to build a midfield for the future upon. Another one that's going around that I am not, I don't want to mention this, but I have to bring it up because we've gotten so many messages asking us is Ozil joining Juventus? At the moment, Corriere del Sport is just, in my opinion at least, spreading BS. They're trying to sign papers, they're trying to get clicks, so they're just saying that anything is possible. Most of these sources are pretty bad. It's English media or non-reliable sources in Italy, so we suggest wait until somebody big confirms and IFTV will let you know. Another one that came out and is spreading BS, and we gotta call them out on this channel, Corriere del Sera, who we always love, wrote an article linking Zidane to Juventus for the summer. This article was based off just an idea that Agnelli, Juve's owner, would be interested in Zidane for the summer. A lot of Juve fans got confused saying, does that mean Zidane's joining? Does that not mean Corriere del Sera basically just put an opinion piece and uh, they spread it into news and a lot of big newspapers picked it up. Wouldn't trust that one. On to some other teams who don't have that much news. Napoli will speak to Verdi on Monday to see if he will be joining Naples or not. If he doesn't want to go, because as we've said in our last video, he's not sure what he wants to do. He doesn't know if he should go to Napoli because it'll stop him from growing and he thinks he wants to stay until June. If he decides to join Napoli, now Napoli will not go for Delafo or Politano who are the other other top targets after Simone Verdi. AS Roma, James Palotta, the owner of AS Roma. IFTV loves him, probably my favorite owner in Italy. Just because he's so real and down to earth and he's a very relatable guy. He said, watching Roma this season, I don't think we need to buy anyone. So AS Roma fans, don't expect any January signings, although probably an attack somebody could be used. The media came out this week saying that PSG are interested in Alisson, and Alisson said, I'm not going anywhere now, but in June, you never know what could happen. For Lazio, De Vrij unexpectedly is expected now to sign a new 
contract earlier this week. They're saying that he's going to leave for free in the summer when his contract expires. Now, Gazetta are saying that he will sign a new contract and he's going to get a salary increase. Plus, his release clause is going to go from 25 million, which it is currently, to 20 million. And the final news from AC Milan again, not a lot in this one. Gustavo Gomez is headed towards Boca Juniors. He's agreed a contract. Now Milan need to accept the loan with obligation to buy that Boca Juniors have offered. And the final news is that Genoa's director came out saying that we'd welcome Locatelli if he decides to go to Genoa, a place where he'd get more playing time than currently at Milan with Villa and Kessie and Bonaventura taking up the midfield under Gattuso. But yeah, that is all of the news from the Serie A clubs, from reliable sources. Subscribe to IFTV and like us on Facebook if you're watching on Facebook. And later on in the week, Michael and I will give our opinions. But now, jump in the comments. Tell me which one you're most excited for. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao ragazzi.